have done a lot of automations that blew your mind, but this automation, I have mixed feelings. Bit scared to be honest, and I feel like I'm dealing with something out of our control. I have actually created a tool that does the coding for me, and I'm open sourcing it now. I'm not talking about artificial intelligence creating a snake game or a fancy interface which are not useful in our real world. I had to sit 18 hours straight to code this and I was freaked out every time I tested. Okay, enough talking. Let me show you the demo. As you can see, there are no changes in my code base right now. So if I open the code base in the code editor and also show you one file which I'll ask the AI to modify. So I'm gonna open web.php and this file doesn't have anything related to the contact, right? Now what I'm trying to create is a contact page with a form. When people submit the form, it needs to save into database. So I'll ask the AI to do that automatically. So if I go back to the terminal and let me clear this and also open the browser. And as you can see, this is a blank application. And if I go to the contact route and you can see it's 404, right? Now I'm gonna run the command. It's a tool that I have actually created. So when I do this, it is asking me, how can I help you today? Uh, I would like you to create a contact page with Tailwind design and make sure to follow the existing layout and have a form with name, email, phone body and then save it to the database i'm gonna give this short instruction here and then hit enter so what it is doing now is it actually is scanning my directory with all the files necessary files it's gathering all the information and sending it to the gpt so that's what i'm using behind the scenes here and yes yes as you can see it has gone through views folder and app.blade.php for the layout and then it is going through the JS files, view files, routes, controllers and everything. And also, as you can see, it is reading the each individual file necessary, which is routes slash web.php, also reading the file controller.php. So it says that the file has been updated successfully at routes.web.php. Now let's go to the other tab and see what changes it has actually made. So git status, see one file is updated and we have other files here that are created. Let me go to this page and see for myself what it has written. So as you can see, there's like two lines changed here. So if I go to the controller file, and as you can see, we have pretty nice structured code here and everything seems to be fine for me. The name, email, phone, and body with all the validations written. So let me see what it does say. And here's a summary of the updated and created files. All those files are created and then it is asking me to run php artisan migrate so now let's run that command php artisan migrate and it says successfully done so let's go back to the database and then hit refresh so we have contacts table now let's test the application oh as you can see there is a contact page with name email phone and then message let me try and submit this one um, Hello, I'm trying to reach you. And then when I hit send, nothing happened. Let me see if the data is saved. Yes, of course the data is saved, but I want to see a success message on the website, right? So what I'll do is I'll go back to the chart and then say, I don't see a success message on the contact page make sure to add that so it has given us a response it says contact.view is updated let me go back and then hit refresh so as we can see uh, there's a javascript error here let me go back and then paste that error you can see this right like i'm actually trying to communicate with the chat gpt in plain english and then it is writing the code for me which is pretty amazing actually it has updated the contact.view again and then let's go back to the browser. Now we can see the page and then I'm gonna add the data. Hey, this is my second submission. And then when I hit send, 
I still have an error here. So I'm gonna paste that. Now it says the file has been updated successfully. Let's go back to the browser and then test our feature again. Okay, this is third time. And then send. We still don't have anything here. And let's see what's happening. So I think there's something wrong with the maybe controller. Make sure to update the other files too when you fix the contact dot view file it's not showing any success message looks like it is actually reading the controller file which is good now it says the file has been updated successfully and then if i go back and then hit submit wow look at that we have contact message sent successfully which is pretty amazing so everything is working fine but i don't like the view here so as you can see the login page has like modern design when i go to the contact page it doesn't have that look i think the background is missing let me see test login and if i compare these two so i want to make sure to change the button colors and other styles to reflect what we have in login page right everything is working perfect as expected but visually it's not same as other pages i want the contact page to look exactly like the login page and make sure to adopt the font color styles layout and everything keeping the functionality same and then i send this message now let's see what's going to happen so it is reading bunch of files actually okay so we have summary here saying that structures and style is updated form inputs are replaced and also success error success messages are updated okay let's go back and see now we have a new error that's okay uh, let's actually copy the first line of the error and then paste here so it says contact of view has been updated successfully and let me actually close this one and it's so this is a login page and then if i go to the contact wow look at that it's exactly like login page now let's do the side by side comparison this is amazing so without writing a single line of code just talking to gpt we have contact form which is working so let me try to submit it again and then see how it looks now let's see so send wow this looks beautiful and everything is working now perfect let's go back to the terminal and then see git status we have all the files that are actually changed and created awesome this is just the tip of the iceberg and this everything with gpt 40 image using the cloud 3.5 sonnet everybody is talking about that is really really good at coding and it can do a lot better honestly ai is changing really fast i'm going to add ton of features to it stay tuned for more updates let me know in the comments below if you want to test this project i still need to add the documentation for this project so that everybody can use it so give me a day and then i'll publish it as an open source project